Hi, I'm Joanne Liu with drillingcontractor.org, and I'm here at the Advanced Technology Center at the Lone Star College sci -Fair campus. Joining me today is Chris Polk, who is the Department Chair Advanced Technology. He's here to tell me about the Petroleum Technology Program, which is educating students to enter the oil and gas industry. Chris, thank you so much for joining me. It's a pleasure. Chris, tell me about the Petroleum Technology Program. The Petroleum Technology Program was started in January of 2011 uh, with 12 students. Uh, it currently has 44 completers as it is now. Uh, we have 14 going through it currently. Um, it basically built on what's called a stackable certificate program, which basically takes an entry-level certificate and carries it through essentially an associate's degree. So the students can start out in what's called a fast-track certificate, which is a marketable skills award uh, with four classes, 14 credit hours, and then basically go into a field service technology certificate, and then from that go into an, an advanced level two, and then essentially an associate's degree in petroleum field service technology. It's changed my life tremendously. You know, I've, I've, I'm a veteran, and I've... I went through a million dollars worth of training uh, in my linguist school and this, that, and the other in my cryptology school, and I've got just as much out of this program, uh, this training, as I have in, any training that I've ever had in my life. So how is this program structured? How long does it take for a student to complete it? As, as it stands right now, the MSA can be completed in one semester, which is kind of nice. About 16 weeks total, uh, the students can get four classes of DCAC circuits, hydraulics and pneumatics, petroleum instrumentation, and then an intro to petroleum industry class. That gives them a marketable skills award as an oil field service technician. And basically, that they start there and they can roll into a field service technician, which is about another two semesters. Uh, the level two cer cer certificate that we have is about four semesters, and then the associate's degree is about a final semester. It's about five semesters total, and they can finish the entire program. About two years, two, two plus. It's not too much. I'm taking this program. It's a MSA for oil field service technician, and uh, it's only one semester if you meet the prerequisites. And uh, it's just a smart thing to do. You get out in the industry, you become a field technician, so you're certified to work on the items and all the instrumentation that needs maintenance, and it pays from twenty dollars an hour up to three, four thousand a week depends on if, what company and if you're onshore or offshore. So it's just, it's the best thing for my family right now. After graduating or obtaining the MSA certificate, where have your students gone? As it stands right now, they've gone with several local companies, everything from Oceaneering, Stewart and Stevenson, Weatherford, um, uh, Halliburton's lifting and looking at us now as well. Um, a lot of the major contractors that we see in the area have been coming to us, especially because of our service area and our proximity to everybody. Um, as it stands right now, out of the MSA, the, just the first certificate alone, um, we've got just about 100% job placement for any student that has a hireable background, a good background check, what have you. Um, and as it stands, really, uh, right at 100%, we just uh, placed everybody out of December pretty much at Oceaneering. Uh, their DTS division came in, and uh, we're real happy with them. Uh, ROV's come in and taken one of our guys as well so far, too. But all the companies around us are, are kind of coming in, and it's, it's been really nice. Well, this program has gave me a lot of different knowledge about the petroleum industry, the different um, explorations, the different drilling, um, the aspects of drilling, and it has shown me the different pressures and all kind of different things that I need to apply in the real world. Since I've been here at Long Star, I have found a, um, a passion for instrumentation, which is actually um, working on a different um, machines, um, wiring them, hard wiring them, um, troubleshooting and all kind of different things. So I found that I'm really good at that and I'm kind of glad I chose the program because, you know, it's a stepping stone for me and it can help me uh, further my career. So I'm so focusing now, right now, for my certificate and then when I'm finished, I will plan anyway. It can be in drilling or offshore or onshore, or whatever. So this certificate with all, it's a, the door, it's the door of all positions about oil and gas industry. It can be drilling, it can be you know, everything. So I have willing to do something, you know, and work. So given the success so far of this program, what are any, what are the plans to expand it? Well, right now, the, the big thing is expansion, and because of that, what they're wanting, what industry is asking us for is how many can we put out. And so we've been looking at about trying to basically uh, cut our scheduling in half where we can actually double the output of students based on the equipment. Um, but you can only do that so long. And, and so what we've been trying to do is we're, we're 
planning on developing a new advanced technology center, hopefully in the next couple of years, uh, to basically try to increase our space and our capabilities and capacity. Um, and what we, our, our projections are to do is really to kind of basically try to carry out um, doubling, or if not tripling, our output of students. The other alternative we have too right now is we also offer this program over at our University Park campus. Um, it's not quite as complete yet, but we're, up, we're helping staff that and equip that with the equipment that they need to carry on and uh, with the MSAs and the certificates that we also offer. So uh, a multi-campus approach as well as basically building the program out. And uh, we've been really relying a lot on, on, on our industry support through our advisory committees um, to basically help us build um, basically on what we really need out there and what, they, what their needs are. And so that's kind of the direction we're kind of aiming. So. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Chris. And thank you for joining us on drillingcontractor.org.